Why are developers so weird? It seems like every time I have a conversation with another developer and I'm around other people who are not developers and they're not in the development world and they're not used to hearing some of the jargon and the things that we talk about, people like my wife or, or their wife or their husband or whoever it is, uh, we always kind of get these weird looks and they, they just kind of look at us like you guys are so odd and they just shake their heads and walk away or, or laugh at us. And, uh, and really most people, when they hear us talk to each other, they think, man, you developers are really weird. So why is it that everybody thinks we're so weird? Let's dive into that today. Hey, junior devs, dev mentor Dave here, helping you bridge the gap from learning to code to launching a successful career. And hopefully you haven't felt the disdain from other people as a budding junior developer. Or maybe you're a senior developer and you've just gotten used to it like I have, uh, realizing that everybody's gonna think you're weird. Uh, but I just wanted to take a, a few minutes today and just lightheartedly poke some fun at ourselves and talk about why do people think that we're so weird? and we can decide whether we want to change or not, and probably we won't. But let's just talk about a few reasons why we're a little odd to everybody else. So the first reason why I think that we come across as odd is because we like problems. See, most people, they don't like problems. They want to get rid of problems. They want to find a, a, an easy path. They want, to, they want to go down a path in life that's, going to, that's not going to give them trials and struggle and hardship. But good developers, we actually like problems. In fact, that's that's really why we get into development is we want to take a problem and we want to solve that problem. We want to build an application that's going to fix the problem. We want to kind of be a hero, really, in that sense. We want to we want to solve someone's problem. And whether that's our problem or whether it's whether it's a friend's problem or just a, a problem of a client, that's what we enjoy. We're, we're just weird. Most people run away from problems. They don't want to deal with problems. They want somebody else to handle their problems. and we like problems. We like problem solving. In fact, if you don't like problems, you probably don't really like development. Maybe you just like the money. I don't know. But we are weird people because we like solving problems. In fact, it's funny, even some of the video games that I hear other developers playing and even myself when I play board games, I like thinking games. I like things that are that are competitive, games that are that are, make me try to outthink somebody or or figure out a problem or find the best way to do something. That's just kind of how we are and and frankly most of the world is not that way. They just want the easy path and and while sometimes we can laugh at ourselves for taking the easy path when it comes to coding and development, we really do enjoy solving problems. And, and so that makes, that's the first reason why we're a little odd to other people. Not only do we like problems, but we also like inanimate objects. Um, in fact, we like them so much, we talk to them. Now we don't talk to them verbally. Well, sometimes we might talk to them verbally when they're not doing what we want them to do, but we talk to them in a weird language. We, we talk outside of the way that we normally talk to other people. Now there's lots of people in the world that, you know, they use different languages. They talk to other people in different languages and some weird people like us maybe talk to their cats and dogs and other pets in weird languages. But, you know, people talk to other people in, in different languages, but nobody thinks that's weird. In fact, they think it's pretty cool. But as soon as you start talking to a computer in a language, well, now you're just a weirdo. So get used to it. People are going to think you're weird because you speak a weird language and you speak it not to other people. You speak it to an inanimate object. And, you know, I don't know if you've seen that movie, Her, uh, with Joaquin Phoenix. Hopefully you haven't fallen in love with your computer like he did. But that's kind of what it's like. It's a little weird to other people that we enjoy talking this language to inanimate objects and sometimes getting mad at the inanimate object, but that's another reason why we're a little odd. The third reason why I think that people think that we're odd is what I think is a really cool thing, and that is that we are technological wizards. I mean, really think about it. What is a wizard? A wizard is somebody who uh, uses some a magical power that people don't understand. Uh, sometimes they're they're making incantations with their words uh, and, and speaking a language sometimes that people don't understand. And when they do that, 
really cool things happen, right? You know, fireballs or, you know, protective spells or all these different things that, uh, that wizards can do and can create seemingly out of nothing, just with the, the little movements of their hands and the words that they speak. Right. So as developers, we're kind of the same way. We were a little mystical. We can write words. We may, may not be speaking them unless you're doing like speech to text or something like that for your code. But we we write the words into the computer and from virtually nothing, we create real things that people interact with. We create websites and web applications and programs and things that make people's lives better, things that make people's lives easier. And so in a sense, we're technological wizards. And let's be honest, most of the wizards that you know about, they're a little odd. And so it makes sense that as technological wizards, we're probably a little odd too. Well, hey, I hope you found that at least a little bit amusing, if not enjoyable, um, a little bit of a different take from what we normally do here on the channel. But uh, if you found that interesting or amusing or even dumb and you and you want to tell other people about it, please share it. Hit the like button so that YouTube knows uh, that people are at least interested in this video. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 5000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button click the bell icon to be notified the next time we upload probably a more serious video, but maybe something funny. I don't know. We'll see what people like. I'll see you on the next one.